Let me get into some light. It's the size and behavior of a garter snake. Could also be a brown snake. This would be a big brown snake. But the color on this snake. Look at this. Look at this pattern. Look at the orange in there. Kind of, you know, looks a little bit like a copperhead or something. So I'm going to do some research later and find out if it's a uh, brown snake. And this would just be the biggest brown snake I've ever seen. They can get this big. But look at the shape of the head. It's already bit me a couple times. The, the teeth are so small they aren't even penetrating the skin. And just, you see that? See the posture and behavior? That's just like a garter snake or a brown snake would do. During the editing process, I kept looking at the footage over and over again, and I took a few screenshots and looked at them up close. And I, I began to think that this is not a brown snake or a garter snake. Now there are garter snakes that come in all different kinds of colors. They're rare, but they do exist. So it can sometimes look like it may be another snake, but it's just a garter snake. However, after closer examination and doing some research with a few websites, looking at pictures, reading descriptions, it's my opinion now that this is a northern water snake, and this is the first time I've handled one. So please disregard anything else in this video about this being a garter or brown snake. Thanks for watching. This guy was just laying there, sunning himself. It's a little bit cool out right now, but he was sunning himself. He was, I thought he was dead at first because he wasn't moving. Yeah, you see the threatening posture there, but you see there, there's no fangs. This is not a, a poisonous snake at all. We don't have copperheads in the state of Michigan, but, but look at that color. Yeah, see, that doesn't even hurt. He's got grass in his mouth because he was trying to get away from me. I snatched him up. Oh, one more, one more for the camera guy. You got to be careful when you, you get them. You want to try to get them behind the head if you can. Otherwise, I'll turn around. Oh, see, look. That's about the most hand. Look at a little bit of blood there. Yeah. And there's nothing. But because I'm holding the camera, I can't snatch them behind the head. But you got to be careful when you grab them. You don't want to just smash them and, and hurt them. You got to... It takes a little practice. Once you get control of the head, though, Everything's all right. I'm going to let him go. He needs to warm up out here. Definitely something I recommend. If you're going to try to snatch up a snake, make sure you have two free hands, uh, gloves if possible, know how to identify snakes, and uh, I wouldn't recommend grabbing a poisonous snake. Here in Michigan, we've only got one poisonous species, and they're extremely rare. Yeah, I'm thinking this guy is a brown snake, but he could be a garter. They're very similar. Unfortunately, I'm casting a shadow here, so that doesn't help. All right, little dude, go sun yourself.